This video is an introduction to programming in the Pyramid web application framework using PyCharm. And we'll show you how to get started in just five minutes. Let's start by creating a new project. We'll name it my project. I put it in this location. We're going to select Pyramid as a project type and create a virtual environment using Python 3.3. We'll click this V button. And uh, I name my virtual environments according to the uh, version of Python I'm going to use. I'm going to put it in a location within uh, my project itself. That way I keep everything together and it's easier to deal with. I'm going to use this base interpreter of um, Python 3. And I'm going to leave inherit global site packages unchecked. Click OK, and we'll get going. This creates a virtual environment, does it pretty fast. And click Apply, and we click OK. Uh, we want to install Pyramid, so we'll click OK again. And then at this step, we s click on No, because we want to install a scaffold, which is a quick way of getting started with projects. And we're going to select the starter scaffold. Click OK, and it goes through and it installs Pyramid. There it goes. Now inside the uh, My Project folder, we have the virtual environment, we have the project files that were created by the scaffold, and we have a bunch of other meta, meta information. Before we can start development, we need to run a specific tool here. We need to run the setup pi task. So we'll go to Tools, Run Setup Pi Task, and we're going to select the uh, Develop Task. Click OK. That should go through, install things, get things moving. Once that's done, uh, we can actually configure a run environment, or we can use one that has already been created by PyCharm for us. Uh, we can take a look at that right now while that's going through. Our um, environment is already set up with all of these uh, variables for us, so that's awesome, and we're just going to leave it alone. When we're done downloading and installing all of these other packages and dependencies, we can actually run the environment. It's done. And to run the environment, we click this button here, this Run button, and that should start the server. And we just open up this URL in a web browser, and there we go. We have our Pyramid application started and running. That's pretty cool. Uh, it also has this thing called a Debug Toolbar, which has a whole bunch of nifty information to help you do debugging uh, and analysis of your application. Okay. That's pretty cool, but every once in a while we want to do some changes. So how do we do some changes here? Let's go over here into our template. We're going to open that up. And uh, we're going to do a little thing right here. Insert some HTML. and. Oh, I love autocomplete in PyCharm. And we're going to save our changes and then reload the web browser and it shows up. This shows up automatically because we set a parameter in our um, uh, develop uh, in, uh, in our develop.ini file to automatically reload the templates. So that's it. Uh, that's a quick overview of Pyramid and PyCharm, and if you want more information about Pyramid, there's a whole bunch of links here. Uh, and um, if you want more information about PyCharm, go and visit the JetBrains uh, website. And uh, go check out PyCharm. Thanks for watching.